This episode is an updated analysis of the competition between Titans to determine who is truly the Tyrant Lizard King. Since the first look at this fight, studies by various scientists, including the legendary Robert Bacher, have added to our understanding about both predators. Most importantly, Hendricks and Mateus published a paper in Plus One refuting Ibrahim's 2014 assertion that Spinosaurus was quadrupedal. They closely examined the six specimens that had been used and discovered that they were actually mixtures of both Spinosaurus and a close relative, Sigilmasasaurus brevicolis. Ibrahim's claim is now considered defunct, restoring the fan-beloved bipedal model, but the new study has something else to say. The genuine Spinosaurus skulls that were used, all of mature adults, had maximum lengths of 120 centimeters, just over a meter. Scaling down from other specimens, the largest discovered by Ibrahim would have measured 34 feet long and approximately 4 tons. So the updated average size of Spinosaurus is 42 feet long, 13.6 feet tall at the hips, and 9 tons. Impressive, but nowhere near the baseless 60 foot 20 ton estimates. Now for Tyrannosaurus. Its change, although small, was an upgrade. Dr. Robert Bacher, the paleontologist behind the dinosaur renaissance that made our image of intelligent, social, and deadly dinosaurs, examined the skull of a T-Rex in late 2015 and said that their hearing was incredibly acute, similar to modern owls. Other advantages not mentioned last episode include sharp binocular vision, high archosaurian intelligence, and a sense of smell greater than that of a dog. Its bite force was also underestimated, peaking at 57,000 newtons, as was the power of its arms. Each supposedly puny limb could push and tear past its chest with more than a ton of force. A study correction by Hutchinson et al. was released regarding their mass-measuring LIDAR technique, upping the minimum weight of Sue to 10.45 tons from the popular 9.5. How do these new discoveries affect the outcome of the fight? The average length and height of the two beasts are very similar, with Spinosaurus topping out slightly in both of these categories, but Tyrannosaurus has clearly more muscle power. Sue, a fairly representative T-Rex, has nearly 3,000 pounds of strength on an average Spinosaurus, can crush a car between her jaws, run at 20 miles an hour, and is balanced gracefully, allowing for relatively agile turns and attacks. That factor of agility is actually crucial in this fight. Spinosaurus' center of gravity was swung far forward due to its long neck and pot belly, making usage of its most powerful weapon, its slashing claws, unfeasible. It couldn't raise its low slung arms high enough to attack T-Rex without either falling over or opening itself completely to its opponent's steel mangling jaws. For that matter, its water adapted equilibrium would be easily interrupted by a simple headbutt or shove from its more massive competitor. Taking all these factors into account, it's clear that T-Rex rules for a reason. Created using Powtoon.